and it was more time and, and effort than anything. Effort. Henry Newman, a father living in Crown Heights, spent on cutting out thousands and thousands of box tops. They were truckloads, literally. Because we're talking, yeah. Because each of these bags maybe I hold, I don't know, remember the numbers, but goes, oh, you know, a few hundred said, oh. packages, and you're something. talking about seventy-five thousand. It was a, it was a real work over time. Trying to help his son Yeshiva and four other private schools around Brooklyn make repairs, Newman turned to the square clipouts. Usually, box tops are worth ten cents. These are worth actually fifty cents. A tedious yet foolproof way to bring in some extra cash for education. At least that's what he thought. This whole time they said we're looking into this. And I believe they were supposed to send out a check in December. They already cut out, they already, on the website, they already showed in middle of September, October, that they weren't going to give the schools that money. Um, and, then, and that's when we got in contact with them. And, but from then, you know, they just kept on saying, we're looking into it, we're looking into it, we're looking into it. But, quote, looking into it is all the makers of these Scott bath tissues have done since Newman was able to get teams of parents and his family to help cut out the coupons. He says what should have equaled out to tens of thousands of dollars instead turned into a community scandal of David and Goliath proportions. Meanwhile, spokesmen of the company have gone on record saying they are taking this time to figure out if the coupons were gathered correctly. And at this point, they are not in a position to pay this kind of money. But according to Newman, he did everything right and followed the rules to a T. With, with bonus box tops, they say that there's no limit. And that's what you have Yeah, of. and these are plenty of bonus box tops. So I've heard some people, you know, some people have come to me and says, how can you expect them to pay up? They're only going to give $20,000 per school. So I show them clearly the rules that they, they, that they, they basically say there's no limits for bonus box tops. And Newman also said he was accused of printing fraudulent box tops, which I have to say made him laugh when we were talking, because printing them would be more expensive than just cutting them out and sending them as they already are. Well, he says he will continue calling the makers of Scott until they either send the allotted money to the schools or give new directions on how to resolve this issue. Hillary Whittier, live in the newsroom.